In our previous video, we read out this image using frequency separation. Now we are going to take it further and do dodge and burn. As you may already be aware, there are two types of dodge and burn, global and macro. We will take a look at both of them in here. As you may know, doing dodge and burn is very tedious and time consuming. Luckily, there is a plugin that makes this process easy and very fast. Let's take a look at that. We will go ahead and then create a visible stamp layer and then go to filter, retouch for me. And then we look at dodge and burn. This opens up our dodge and burn plugin from Retouch for me. Here I'll go ahead and choose soft light layer. Now let me zoom in a bit and then look at before, after, before, after. If the intensity is not that much, we can increase the blend here to give us something higher. So as we increase it, you realize that the effect becomes a bit higher. If you look at the chin area here, this is before, this is now, before and now. Because we did frequency separation before, it took care of much of the things that this uh, macro dodge and burn would have taken care of. That's why you don't see much of a difference here. But if we had applied it directly on the image before the frequency or without frequency separation, then you will see a greater result. So I use, I use this in conjunction with frequency separation to give my images like the best look realistically this value may be too high if you're not using frequency separation so i'll just leave it at this and then go to apply now we have this here so you just come to with your layer selected you come to blend mode and then choose soft light so now we have it clear there now we'll create another visible stamp layer and we are going to apply the global dodge and burn so we go back to filter retouch for me and then we have portrait volumes so once this is opened we'll make it big and then also go to soft light layer and then here we take a look at what it has done for us so this is before this is now so you see this applies a global dodge and burn it sculpts the image like relighting it you get what i mean so here this is before this is after if it's too strong you would reduce the blend here before after i think it's still too strong so i'll come somewhere 50. and then this is before this is after let's go down a bit and let's see before after before after well from here if it's too strong i'll be able to reduce the the opacity in um, photoshop using my layer so i'll just leave it as it is then click apply in Photoshop also, we come to the blend mode and then choose soft light. So we look at before and after. Before, after. If it's too strong, we just come here and then reduce the opacity. So this is before and after. Now let's put these two in a group. And then we look at both of them off and on. Before, after. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is before dodge and burn, this is after. So this, I can say, is the quickest way to dodge and burn in Photoshop. You can head to the Retouch For Me website and download your plugins. Check out these videos if you want to learn more.